You click this because Elden Ring, Night Train gives you a black screen when launching, right? You tried admin mode, you waited, still black? Good, you're in the right place. This isn't one of those try reinstalling your GPU driver videos. This guide will fix the issue from the source, step by step, and I'll explain why each one matters. Stick with me for just a few minutes, your game will boot by the end of this. Step 1, The Hidden Config Trap Most people never delete this file, but it's the number one cause of black screen launches. Here's what to do. Press Windows plus R, type this. Percent local aptitude percent backslash Elden Ring backslash saved backslash config backslash Windows no editor. Now delete everything inside. Don't worry, the game rebuilds it safely on next launch. This removes corrupted render settings that block startup. Step 2, the invisible launch conflict. Now let's bypass the full screen bug. On Steam library. Right click the game. Go to properties. In the target field, add this at the end. Windowed no border. This forces the game to start in windowed mode, fixing invisible resolution mismatches. Launch it now, if you're still stuck, don't leave, the next fix changes everything. Step 3, the dependency check nobody tells you. The game can go black if just one DLL is broken. Install all three of these. Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributables 2015 to 2022, both x64 and x86. .NET Framework 4.8 DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer These fix engine boot errors that silently crash the render pipeline. Direct link in the description. Step 4, Windows is blocking you silently. Windows thinks full screen games are old will shut off its optimizations that break modern titles. Right-click Elden Ring.exe. Click Properties. Then Compatibility. Check Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Then go to Change High DPI Settings and check. Override DPI Scaling Behavior. Set Application. Now it launches with raw performance, no interference. Step 5. GPU Power Mode Trick. If you're using Intel or a dual GPU laptop, this is huge. Go to Windows Graphics Settings. Now add Desktop App. Find the game. And click on Add. Now set it to High Performance. Restart your PC. If you're on Intel Iris XE, this step is non-negotiable. Step 6. Missing DLLs equals Instant Black Screen. Final step. You might be missing two DLLs the game needs. Download these files in the description. d 3 compiler underscore 47 dot DLL. Zinput 1 underscore 3 dot DLL. After that extract and paste both into the game's install folder. These two have solved the issue for hundreds of players. Still with me? Good, your black screen should be gone now. If it worked, drop a comment below with your specs so others can match it. Still stuck? I reply to every comment, I'll help you personally. Hit like and subscribe if this saved your game, and I'll see you in the next fix. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. Make a statement.